Every part of a building has a U-value. Whether it's a wall, floor or roof, the U-value measures how much heat escapes per square meter per hour, and glazing is no exception. This can get complex, but to keep it simple, think about U-values like golf. The lower the number, the better the score. U-values apply to doors and windows as well, and if you are fitting new patio doors, the building regulations set a maximum U-value for those doors. The numbers vary depending on whether it's a new build, a house extension or a renovation project. Even when replacing existing patio doors, newer models still need to comply with the building regulations. The question is, how do you prove they do? It's relatively easy to calculate the U-value for a floor, wall or roof once you know what every layer is made from. But glass doors are complex because the U-value is the average of the frame and the glass together. To work this out, the manufacturer has to be able to prove the U-value of the door frame and the glass, then measure the area of the frame and the area of the glass to get the average. Every door and window is unique, so they each have to be calculated separately. Double and triple glazing can be very thermally efficient with super low U-value scores, but it's much harder to design frames that keep out the heat. Because the frame has to be very strong to support the glass, it must be built from robust components. The same thing that makes a door frame strong also conducts heat from inside to out, leading to a poor U-value score for the frame. The overall U-value score for a door or window is an average of the glass and the frame, and the frame is the weak link, thermally speaking. Smaller doors and windows can struggle to meet the required U-value because they have more frame relative to the area of glass. The building regulations set different U-values in England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, depending on whether the building is a new house, an extension or a renovation. This can get complex and mistakes are easy to make. For these reasons, local building standards officers regularly ask to see evidence that glazed doors meet the required U-values. If you can't prove the doors comply with the building regulations, the officer won't issue a completion certificate, and this will affect your ability to mortgage or insure your home. This is another reason I work with Sunflex and recommend them to my clients. Their approved installers understand how the building regulations work. They calculate the U-values for each door and window separately, and they can provide documentary evidence to back this up when building standards officers ask. I've used Sunflex doors in my own project since 2017. Their products are excellent and their approved installers take care of all the details. I am really happy to have Sunflex as a sponsor for the channel and you can find their local approved installer from the link tree in my profile. My name is Neil and I make content about the reality of altering, extending, renovating and building homes in the UK. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date.